How's it going everybody? Texas me and here. I hope you guys are all having a spectacular day. Please give this video a thumbs up if you guys really enjoy it. Subscribe if you guys have not already. Also do me the biggest favor of all. Hit that bell notification button so you guys don't miss out on future videos or streams here on the channel. If you guys would also make sure to head over to Twitch. Follow me there at Douglas447. I stream there at least once a week. You guys can also find me on Discord at 6957 The Texas Man. And in this video, we're going to be talking about the issues that have been plaguing Overwatch 2 since the launch of the game. Now, some of these issues have been worked on. Some of these issues have been completely 100% fixed. But at the time we were recording this video, during the launch state of the game, within the first week, these are things that I personally have noticed. And these are things that are just irritating me greatly. And I literally have four page worth of notes. And I, I literally four page note four pages of notes to just rant and rave. And I narrowed it down so this video wouldn't be 20, 30 minutes long of me just going on a rant of this free-to-play game. But there are certain things that I feel like needs to be discussed. First of all, I want to talk about the fact that if you want to to merge your Overwatch 1 account, everything that you purchased, everything that you unlocked with real world money in Overwatch 1, if you want to merge that stuff into Overwatch 2, it constantly is causing your game to crash, which is just dumb. Also, launch day, I, no joke, spent five hours in a queue to get into the game. And after five hours, I couldn't even get into the game. I said after five hours, I'm like, I give up. I give up. I never got in. I didn't get in on launch day. I never got in on the past two days either. It took literally four days. I didn't get to play until Friday. I didn't get to play until Friday for the Overwatch launch stream that I did here on the channel. I didn't get to play until Friday. And even then I was having several problems, which I'm going to discuss in this video. Um, so the fact that it takes 15 minutes to five hours for you to get into the actual loading main menu screen is stupid. Now, I know for a fact at the time we're recording this video, but I want to point this out, that you, you, for the first few days, had to have a certain phone plan to log into the Overwatch 2 servers. And this was done in order to prevent cheaters and hackers. Now, I know Blizzard slash Activision has removed you having to do this. But the fact of the matter is, it was at launch that you literally had to take your phone, log into Battle.net.com, create an account, and you had to prove that you had a valid cell provider wherever you lived in order to get into Overwatch 2. This is a free-to-play game. Fortnite, Apex Legends, Call of Duty Warzone, none of those games, which are free to play, force you to literally have to use your phone to log into the game, which is just stupid. Now, I'm happy they removed it, but it is a launch problem. Also, if you don't merge your Overwatch 1 account to Overwatch 2, it leads to a lock system on Heroes. So what I mean by that is, like, if you've never played Overwatch 1 or you don't merge your Overwatch 1 account into Overwatch 2, it makes it where in Overwatch 2, you are forced to play matches to unlock heroes. Instead of them being all unlocked at once for you to lose, for, for you to use immediately. Why? Why is this free-to-play game locking you out of heroes in a hero shooter? Paladins doesn't do that. You like if you want to play as Roadhog, you have to complete 15 matches. Doesn't matter what game mode, just you have to play 15 matches to get Roadhog unlocked. Now, I was able to see this before I did the Overwatch 1 to Overwatch 2 merge, and I just thought that was just stupid. Beyond dumb. Um also when you're trying to merge your Overwatch 1 account to your Overwatch 2 account, if you pre-order the watch point wave pack sometimes it will not properly download and it will take an hour or two before that's actually properly installed into your overwatch 2 account and be properly working on the overwatch 2 servers so just make sure you don't buy the overwatch pack 
twice because sometimes based on your store, um, it'll allow you to buy it twice. Don't, don't do that. Just wait until it's properly merged and installed. Um, another thing I want to talk about, the game doesn't tell you the cost of the battle pass. Like, you can literally go on to Overwatch 2 and you can see the battle pass. It doesn't tell you how much the battle pass costs. You can go into the shop and it tell you how much all the microtransaction stuff costs, which I'll talk about soon of how stupid that is. Um, the game doesn't tell you the cost of the battle pass. Also, if you want to have access to the new hero, and I'm just going to call her Kiro, and I'm sorry if I'm butchering it, but if you want to unlock Kiro, the new hero that's been added into Overwatch for the battle pass, you have to buy the battle pass. There's no, there's no other way around it. You have to buy the battle pass. But like I said earlier, the game doesn't tell you how much the battle pass is. So how are you supposed to know if you actually want to spend real world money to buy the battle pass to buy the hero? I just, it's just beyond dumb. Um, next thing I want to talk about, if you want to play open roll queue, be ready that you're going to spend 5 to 17 minutes to get into a normal match. But if you do... Um, instead of open roll queue, if you do a specific queue, like I want to play as only a tank or a damage person or a support person, that can take you three minutes. Or you just go into the arcade mode and you play push or total mayhem, you can get into a match in 30 seconds. Why is it when you're wanting to do open roll queue, it can take five to 17 minutes? That is stupid. That is dumb. That needs to be fixed. Next thing, and I know a lot of people have already discussed this, the five, the five, V5 gameplay feels really odd. There's two less people in matches now. There's less stuff happening. And it also makes it where certain heroes feel like they have a lot more health and shields and armor. And a lot of other heroes, their damage output has basically been tripled. To compensate for the fact that it's now 5v5 instead of 6v6. Me, I want 6v6 back. It just feels weird to play 5v5. I feel like I'm playing a lesser version of like Call of Duty normal multiplayer. <laughs> it's, just, it's just weird. Um, another thing I want to talk about, why does the game kick you out of each match and it doesn't automatically connect you to the next one? Like, unless you make it where everyone that you're playing with, you stay as a team, the game will literally boot you all the way back to the main menu and you have to start up again to find a new match. I think that is just really dumb, really stupid. It should make it where, even if I'm not staying with the same teammates that I played for the current match... It should just automatically connect me to looking for another match with new people. Why is it that it spends 15 seconds booting me to the main menu and then I have to wait another several minutes to 17 minutes, depending on what I'm playing, to find another match? It's just annoying. Like, literally, when I was playing Friday, it took me an hour because of all these cues and crashes and whatnot. It, in an hour, I got to play one match. I'm sorry, but I'd rather spend an hour and play five to six matches of a bad Call of Duty game than spend an hour and play one match because I'm trying to deal with all the game crashing and bugs and glitches and server problems. Um, I mean, the game is constantly crashing even mid-match. You can look on my stream that I did a few days ago where the game literally was constantly crashing mid-match for no reason. It wasn't my setup. It was an OBS. It was just the game servers. Um... The items in the shop for the microtransaction, they're overpriced even for a free to play game. I will never buy a single one of them. I might buy the battle pass just because I want to be able to play as the heroes, but that is it. Overall, with the numerous game issues, you just spend too much time dealing with the bugs, the crashes, the glitches, the server problems, the queuing. Um, this has got to be one of the worst free to play launch games ever in history and it, it just boggles my mind that blizzard and activision can't figure out how to get this stuff to work properly like even at the time of recording this video i am currently still in queue i have been trying to get into the actual main main menu for almost 10 minutes and i'm still waiting i just it, it's bizarre to me that this free-to-play game that was supposed to be hyped up and be the big next you know free-to-play fps game is just horrible. This is worse than Battlefield 2042, um, in my opinion, when it comes to launch. So let me know in the comment section 
down below. Do you guys agree or disagree with me on any of these things that I have said? Um, I'm still planning to cover the game in the future. I'm still planning on streaming it, you know, when it properly is up and running and it works correctly. But uh, I'm not looking forward to this game's future, unfortunately. I'm looking forward more to, you know, things like the new Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. So, and, you know, Scorn and the Callisto Protocol. I'm looking forward to other games that, even though they're not free to play, I know for a fact that my money's going to be well spent and the games are going to properly work. And, you know, and it's over. Overwatch 2 is just another example of modern gaming. And it's just really sad. I really was hoping that Overwatch 2 was going to bring me back into playing in the Overwatch universe since I haven't played in two to three years. And I'm just, the, the, you know, first impressions are everything. And the launch of this game has not impressed me at all in Blizzard or Activision's capabilities of launching a free-to-play game and continuing Overwatch as a franchise. Thank you guys so much for watching. You guys all have an amazing day. I'll see you guys in the next video or stream. Bye, guys.